Let's take a look at problem 6-43, which deals with stock ownership and, in particular, stock attribution rules. So here's the information you see here. Silver Corporation has 2,000 shares of common stock outstanding. Now, Howard owns 600 shares. His grandfather owns 300. His mother owns 300. And Howard's son owns 100. In addition, Maroon Corporation owns 500 shares and Howard owns 70% of the stock in Maroon. So, let's look at question A, but first, let's explore the stock attribution rules. Okay, look what it says for a family. An individual is deemed to own the stock owned by his or her spouse, children, grandchildren, and parents, but not siblings or grandparents. The other thing to keep in mind is the stock attribution rules related to a corporation. It says that stock owned by a corporation is deemed to be owned proportionally by any shareholder that owns 50% or more of the stock. Okay, now, let's, with that in mind, let's look at A. A says apply the, 300, the Section 318 stock attribution rules. Howard constructively owns how many shares? Well, here's what we know. Direct ownership, and I'm over here on the right side of the screen now, he had 600 shares, he owns 100%, so he's got 600 directly. With indirect, his mother had 300 shares, we count that as 100%. His grandfather had 300 shares, we don't include grandparents. His son had 100, we include that in indirect ownership. And Maroon Corporation had 500. Now, since he owned greater than 50% and he owned 70%, we take 70% of the 500 shares uh, and to come up with constructive ownership of 350. So all of his total indirect ownership was 750. Okay, so with that in mind, we see that uh, Howard owns 1,350 shares, 600 shares directly, and 750 shares indirectly in silver. He, Howard constructively owns the stock of his mother, the 300 shares, and his son, and 70% of the 500 shares, which comes to 350, owned by Maroon Corporation. And he's not deemed to own his grandfather's stock. Okay, next let, let's look at B, which says if Howard owned 40% of the stock of Maroon Corporation, uh, then he would constructively own how many shares, or she, we don't, I, I've assumed Howard was a first name, Maybe it's a, a last name. Then she would constructively own how many shares in silver? All right, so if we slide down, the only difference we have here is that since there's only a 40% ownership in maroon, none of it is considered to be indirect, directly or constructively owned. So the stock attribution rules do not apply to stock held by a corporation if the shareholder owns less than 50% of the stock. So the total constructive ownership is 1,000 in this case. Now, right there is our rule that guides us here. Let me slide that up so you can see it. Stock owned by a share, shareholder who owns 50% or more of a corporation is to be owned in full. So less than 50, we do not treat it as ownership. Finally, let's tackle C. A C says, assume the same facts in A. So we're going back to the original, and we're going to assume one new fact. Howard owns a 25% interest in Yellow Partnership, and Yellow own two, owns 200 shares in silver. Okay, so if we look at this, here's what we see. Let's see if I can get this to appear on the screen correctly. Yeah, down at the bottom right, you can see it. All right, so what's going on here? Howard would now own 1,400 shares. Let me slide this a little bit. Okay, so now we can see all the calculation. And Howard would now own 1,400 shares in silver. Okay, he'd have the 1,350 he had before, but we have to include 25% of the 200 shares in yellow. And the reason why that works out is because he owns greater than 15 50% of maroon, so we've got to include that yellow ownership as well. 
All right, that takes care of this stock ownership using the stock attribution rules.